Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. We're back. We're back again. And we are looking at the Democratic Republic of Congo. This is a series that is a continuation of what we had at short cuts before. So uh, basically we're looking at um, the uh, other ferries that you could utilize when you are traveling from uh, Uvira and um, going to other places where they utilize a ferry. So, for example, from Goma to uh, Bukavu, you could also use a ferry, and you could, um, yeah, you could use a ferry. Actually, the ferry is going to be much better for you. And um, from uh, Kalemi to, um, uh, from Ovira to Kalemi, you could also use a ferry. So, those are just one of the ferries or the modes of transport that you, you could utilize. So, you can see it's docked over there, and uh, that little Uberu is specifically for that area. It carries the goods and several other things and again you can travel by almonds using an aeroplane for example from um you could fly from uh from uh from um from Oviera going to uh, goma and uh, from goma then you could catch a ferry going to uh, bukavu and this is the airport in goma so this is the uh, goma airport and this is how it looks like if you get a travel to goma you can expect to uh, see this in the area or the facilities of the uh, of the airport so you could see that um, planes are landing and others are flying out so yeah that's what you get to expect when you are in the republic of congo it's beautiful you can see the greenery in the area and besides you must have an understanding that uh, goma is um, a volcanic area so basically the lines are flat and again you're going to find some um, sandy soil as well as the the fertile or lava kind of a uh, soil on the grounds because of the the lava that comes from the volcanoes and the volcanoes are actually active they're not dead volcanoes the volcanoes are active in Goma so those are just uh, some of the tips that you um, you get to you get to expect when you are on the lands of Goma so that's the airport over there and this is how it looks like it's a beautiful airport actually. It's, it's beautiful, it looks good and it's huge and it's busy at the same time. And close by there is a market and you can see there is a market and people are busy trading. So using the uh, similar modes of transport that we spoke about earlier. And you could see that a lot of motorbikes. This is what uh, you expect to uh, to see in East Africa. There is that unique vibe mostly in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And that vibe is a vibe of motorbikes. And that, um, that's a video of uh, Bukavu, so the child the city of Bukavu looks like. You can see the beauty of the city. It's a beautiful city as well, and the landscapes are, are beautiful. Uh, the uh, the buildings, the infrastructure, they're all beautiful. They look good, and yeah, you're gonna have those kind of experiences where you see a lot of people riding on the motorbikes. So those are some of the uh, vibes that you will experience in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And in comparison to uh, the Republic of Zambia, definitely when it comes to motorbikes, they don't use much of the motorbikes in the Republic of Zambia. But in some areas like in the uh, city of Chipata in the eastern province, yes, you're going to expect to see motorbikes and lots of motorbikes on the on, on the streets. Actually, I don't understand where that uh, vibe comes from. I don't know whether it's, ca it's coming from the neighboring Malawi. I'm not so sure about it, or probably Mozambique. I'm not so sure about it. But anyway, uh, when we take a visit to uh, the Republic of Malawi and Mozambique and all that, all they have to see exactly where the culture comes from. Because when you jump into Zambia on the, on the Cup Belt side, which is neighboring the Democratic Republic of Congo, you rarely see motorbikes. If you see the motorbikes, there'll be delivery motorbikes that deliver foods and other things from point A to point B. So those are just some of the things that you uh, you expect to see. So that's uh, Bukavu over there. And um, yeah, that's what you expect to see. And it's beautiful to travel. Just the reason why they say in uh, the Bemba language, In other words, uh, I'm not good with the idioms, but yeah, I'm just trying out. In other words, a person could only praise the cooking of the mother or the cooking of a... Of a, of, of a shima of a, the mother so that's just an idiom anyway but i'm not that good at idioms most of the member idioms but i could be good at other idioms in other languages so yeah because i speak some swahili as well so up i'm coming angalia ni ni congo na kila kitu kinaonekana safi sana na vinaonekana vizuri sana na ya ni fasi nzuri tena inabidi mtu anani asafiru kwa aitembele ayangalie vizuri nchi nzuri na naona kama watu wao watu wako pia wazuri sana ni afrika afrika na kwa tamu sana so yeah uh, the yard uh, that's my a little swahili that i was trying out there 
but um, I don't think it is as little as <laughs> as others may assume. But yeah, trying out to speak as many African languages as possible. So those are the vibes of um, Bukavu. So you can see Bukavu is a mountainous area. So you're gonna see the flats, you're gonna see the the highlands and other areas. So yeah, that's the uh, Lake uh, Kivu over there in Bukavu as you arrive from Goma using a ferry. Um, those, are some of the, uh, th those are some of the ferries that are under construction or uh, rehabilitation and that's another one over there which is, uh, which is on the move so oh, there you have it and if you're watching for the first time please consider subscribing give us a like and click the notification bell so that you're notified every single time we post a new video and we appreciate those that have subscribed we're trying to grow the channel so oh, please assist us to uh, subscribe in order for us to uh, grow the channel so that we could showcase as many places as possible that we get to visit so um thank you uh, thank you so much for those that have subscribed and please support the channel thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one and at the moment enjoy looking at the views of uh, a book on lake kivu so this is what you expect to see um as you can see the people are busy uh, at the harbor uh, where the uh, ferry is docked so this is just some of the things there's some of the things that you, uh, you you're gonna experience it's a very um a rare experience mostly when it comes to people that are from zambia unless if you've been in Bulungu, you're gonna experience a little bit of this in Bulungu, but in Bulungu it's not as huge as this so uh the uh, the democratic republic of congo has invested in a lot of money and several other countries of the great lakes have invested a lot of money in this kind of transportation it's a good mode of transport and actually there is good business that is earned from this kind of uh, uh, infrastructure, this kind of uh, uh, transportation. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.